Good day Virgo and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your quarterly reading for January to March 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Queen of clubs or queen of spades. Four of diamonds. Five of hearts. And the queen of clubs. Okay, so... Your general energy for the quarter is the Queen of Clubs. You need to power up. It's time for you to speak your truth. But you might feel like isolating instead. But no, 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 no. Do not isolate these three months at all. Get yourself out there. Speak your truth. Tell people what you want because it is all green lit. It's all green, baby. Every part of it. Anything that you want to do is green lit. Uh, the thing is, is all you got to do is not isolate and speak your truth speak up you know say what you gotta say uh in any situation love business whatever work you know just speak up you know and for the most part uh people are going to take heed you know they're going to listen to your words they're going to listen to what you got to say and most likely give you the green light for whatever it may be so don't um don't isolate this is not a time to isolate the, the this quarter uh in january you have a warning there's an instigator. Somebody's resentful of you and wants to put a monkey wrench in your plans. And I assume that's the plans that come from you speaking the truth and powering up. Uh, I feel like the moment they see you speaking your truth, uh, I feel like this person goes, uh oh, you know, I, th I think they know your potential. Like, you know, but uh, now that you're going to speak your truth, I feel like they're worried and they want to throw a monkey wrench in your plans. So when you figure out who this person is, because it, it might take a while, you know, through the whole month or so, um, definitely know all the facts about this person. Know who they are, what what they mean to you, why they're they're so resentful, and then come to them calmly, you know, with your deduction of what's happening here. Um, I especially say this uh, because this could very well be a child because child children child children uh become instigators and resentful of of you know parents and whatnot uh, especially when things are changing you know when you're speaking your truth and there's new things happening in your life children would off often get resentful of that and try to ruin it for you uh so you really want to come at a child in a very different way you want to come at them you know calmly and you know with with uh, all the facts you know so you can lay it out for them so they can understand you know um because children don't really understand vague things like us adults do because they haven't lived a life yet they don't know um but other than that if it's an adult you still want to come to them with the facts that way when the arguing or whatever starts to happen you have a strong base to stand on uh, you have all those facts to stand on uh, to go into battle with this person when it comes to words. Uh, in February, you need to save money. Yeah, the cards say that you definitely need to save money. Uh, so that means like just spend your money on the things that you need. Uh, roof over your head, food in your belly, stuff like that. Uh, shit that you don't really need. Which, I mean, you really need to think about that because some people think that they need certain things and they really don't. It's not really a need, especially in this day and age. We think that we need that new video game or whatever, or we need to go out to eat, you know, for status quo or what the fuck ever. But uh, you need to really think about that and be like, no, I don't really need that. I need to save my money because uh, most likely you are going to need that money uh, at some point in time, you're going to need that money really badly. Um, that, that's why this card comes up sometimes, you know. Uh, it comes up for me, a Gemini, often because 
I just need to save money. That's all there is to it. I don't save enough money. Um, but I save more money than other people. So whatever. Anyway, so definitely save your money in February. You're going to need it. You know, don't be blowing it all on crap that you don't really need. <laughs> Um, our wants are always there, you know, we will always have wants, don't worry about that. And then in March, yeah, it looks like you're going to fall to self-pity. You're going to feel left out in sorrow and despair. Um, and this could be very well be, um, possibly have something to do with um, this person, because this, this is most likely your past. Uh, that that is that is causing you self pity, and that could very well be just right here in January, perhaps with this instigator, this resentful person. Perhaps things do not work out, and now you're feeling feeling it here in March, uh, or it can be something completely different that's causing you to have self pity. But a lot of it's got to do with the past in some sort of way. And what you need to do is you need to forgive the past, and you need to forgive yourself of the past. And leave the past in the past because it's the past for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Also, you don't want to self fall into self-pity because self-pity does nobody any good. And at this point in time, you're trying to power up. You're trying to speak your truth. You're trying to get things going. And if you're stuck in self-pity, then you're not going to get things going. And that's another thing where the saving money could be. The saving money could be part of your, your uh, powering up. Uh, it could be something that you need uh, in order to, that, that has been green greenlit. And there might be something that you need to buy in order to help you power up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Oh, yeah. Huh. It looks like you got the you got the 8 of cups. So, it looks like you're going to be leaving behind uh some things. And I can see that. I think you're going to be leaving behind this person. I think you're just going to be leaving it behind. And again, this is your past back here, these cups, and you're walking away. You're walking away to these new mountains, this powering up, these things that are green lit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, you need to just walk away. You need to leave your past in the past. You know, don't feel sorry. You're heading to new new shores, new new mountains, you know, new things in life. So, yeah, it, it, you're going to be walking away, and you need to walk away uh, from your past right now is what you need to do. I don't know where that, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the end in March. I think you need to walk away from your past, or you're going to walk away from your past. So there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next quarterly. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.